Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a presentation on NCES problem number 19. Uh, this particular problem is on a uh, chilled water system, so uh, let's get started. Okay, the NCS solution uh, has always been confusing and a, a source of uh, questions by uh, many of the previous participants. Uh, the problem, uh, first of the problem, it says that this uh, AH3 and the system bypass are at the same level, 75 feet, which uh, doesn't correlate with the given figure, and the 75 feet isn't, isn't needed anyway, so that's an unnecessary confusion. And then, as you see in the diagram, each uh, air handling unit and its control value valve is uh, parallel with the rest of the system, so the pressure drops uh, across each one of those must be equal. Uh, the rest is just converting a pressure head to uh, pressure. So, uh, uh, as uh, I've always asked, is uh, that uh, if you've not already tried to work this problem, uh, I'm going to pause here to let you do just that. It's important that you uh, look at these uh, problems before you see, uh, see my solution. Okay, let's see what, what we really need to do here. Well, uh, the required differential pressure drop is the sum of the pressure drop across any of the AHUs at its control valve. So the, uh, the total pressure drop is a combination of the uh, pressure drop across the air handling unit plus the pressure drop across the valve. And we're given the, uh, the valve is uh, 5 PSI. So the uh, 10 feet that you're given is uh, delta P of the air handling unit divided by gamma. So you just need to multiply both sides by gamma. So the uh, change in the pressure, uh, pressure drop across the air handling unit is just 10 feet times gamma. And uh, this is given in 10 feet of water. So you got 10 feet times 62.4 pounds a cubic foot. So you get 624 pounds a cubic foot, which you need to convert to uh, PSI. And when you do that, you get the uh, 4.33 PSI. And so just add the five uh, PSI for the valve and you get uh, 9.33 and that's answer D. So it's really, it's um, unnecessary with all of the different uh, kind of uh, calculations that were made uh, in the uh, in the solution there. Now, there was a, uh, a term here, uh, a 0.433, and you kind of wonder where it was. They took 10 feet and multiplied by it. Well, what it was was the conversion that we just did. Uh, the gamma, 62.4, divided by the 144 inches squared per foot squared. So you got this 0.433. They didn't give it as uh, any units. It just said 0.433, and a lot of confusion as to what is that. Well, again, it's just this uh, combining what I, what I say is uh, two basic uh, conversions, and I, I always uh, that will always got, cause a problem with uh, with the participants. So uh, that's where that comes from. So that's where they multiply by 10 and get the 4.33. Okay, well, that concludes the presentation. Uh, we, as always, thank you for uh, allowing us to help you prepare for this exam.